Hello, this is Raul Lugo, and today I am going to talk about what to do when your home is falling apart. That's the subject for today's teaching about the series that I put together for business and personal success. Yes, I want you to be successful in your finances, in your personal life, in your business life, because this is a time that the enemy is attacking you, me, everybody. But we need to be prepared to counter boom attack. And one of the areas that the enemy is attacking very hard is in your family, is in our families. That's why you need to do something when your home is falling apart. Because your home is a garden where you grow your future. Let me tell you, get a pencil, a pen, a notebook, take some notes. Because today, this is going to be helpful for you. Or perhaps for your daughter, your, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your parents, your uncle. Somebody is going to take advantage of what I'll be teaching today. All right? I want you to share this video and also comment below. I'm going to talk to you about five things that you need to do when your home is falling apart. Problems with your spouse, problems with your children, problems with your parents, with your family members, your home is falling apart. And I need you, I need you, I need you to understand that your home life is a focus of the devil. It's a demonic activity who wants to be in your house. He's attacking you. It is a demonic strategy to attack your home. And you see all the homes are crumbling. All the homes are falling apart. And it is very important to understand that your best investment is in your mind. Number one, your best investment is in your mind. And number two, the second best investment is in your home, in your house. Invest in your family relationships. Super mega important nowadays that there is a crisis. Invest in your family relationships. Are you ready for this? Let's start with the number one. Take notes. This is very important. Number one, what to do when your home is falling apart. Treasure your home life as your most magnificent asset and investment. The scripture says in 1 Timothy 5.8, But if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith, and is worse than an infidel. You need to invest in your home. You need to invest with your family. It's an asset. How do you invest? Invest in the relationships. Your wife, your husband, your family, your children. Invest time with them. Quality time. It's an asset that you need to keep investing. Give, you, know, you need to provide also the food. Provide also the finances to pay the electricity, the water, the internet. You need to invest in your home. Otherwise, it's going to fall apart. But now, go ahead, make an analysis. Are you investing time with your family? Are you having quality time with your family? And during the weekend, go do a picnic at your, at your backyard. Go do a walk with your spouse around the neighborhood. Eat together. No cell phones, no computers, no tablets. Eat together. Invest time with your family in your house. Pray together. The family that pray together stay together. 
Are you, are, you, are you with me? This is powerful. I'm helping you to have a solid, a strong house, home. But you need to invest in your home. Let's go to number two. Never forget that your home has an invisible enemy. Mark 3.25 says, And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. I, I will also would like to share the, the verse 2 Corinthians 10.4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. There are some warfare that the enemy wants to take over your house, your home, your people. And once you understand that there is a demonic attack in your household, you will be prepared to fight against it. All right? Because it says that a house divided cannot stand. No, you need to be working together with your family to make a difference, to build a strong house. During the pandemic, during the crisis, finances, health, relationship, depression, suicidal thoughts. This is crazy, but you need to do something about it. There is an invisible enemy that wants to attack. You need to have that in mind all the time. That's why you need to fight. That's why you need to be prepared to counterattack. Because you are more than a conqueror. If you believe that, comment below and share this video. Comment, say yes, that you are more than a conqueror. That your house is built upon the rock. Say yes. Give me some thumbs up. Give me some like. Give me something. I want you to... To, to connect with this because this is going to help you guarantee what to do when your home is falling apart let's go to the point number three make your home a recovery center proverbs 16 24 says pleasant words are as a honeycomb sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Woo! This is powerful, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters that are watching me now. Your home needs to be a recovery center where your family get together, where your family are working for the same goals. Personal goals, financial goals, physical goals, spiritual goals. It is a recovery center. Then when it says that pleasant words are as a honeycomb, speak sweet, speak love, speak opportunities, speak healing, speak prosperity. What are you speaking at home? What are you saying at home to your spouse, to your children? Give some love. Speak like honeycomb. Mmm. Sweet. No sour. Sweet. Write it down. Sweet. Come on. Somebody write down the word sweet. When you enter your house, it has to be an atmosphere of sweetness. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Are you receiving anything today? I am praying for your home. Do not fall apart. I want you to be successful as a leader in your house. Actually, that's the next point. Let's go to point number four. Comment below, please, and share this video. Give me some thumbs up. Give me some likes, some hearts, because this is powerful. We are going to make a difference. Number four. Learn how to become a spiritual leader proverbs eleven twenty nine says he that trouble his own house 
shall inherit the wind, and the fool shall be servant to the wise of heart. You need to understand, you need to make sure that you are a spiritual leader in your home. This is a spiritual warfare. The enemy wants to take over your house. The enemy wants to divide your house. The enemy wants to destroy your house. But Jesus came to give you life. Not a few, a little bit. Abundant life. So what you need to do is to become the spiritual leader in your home. Start today. Take two minutes. Five minutes. Ten minutes. Pray to God. Talk to God about your situation. Talk to him. He's going to give you ideas. He's going to give you what to do, what not to do, how to avoid conflicts, how to avoid fights between your spouse. This is a time that you need to be concentrated in the promises of God, not the problems that you're going through. There's so many promises for you. Man, you need to take possession of those promises in your family right now. Comment below. You're receiving anything today. Are you with me? Let's go to the point number five. The last one, five. This is powerful. I have a passion to help you and your family. Let's go to number five. What to do when your home is falling apart? You need to develop an environment of unity. Psalm 133 verse 1. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for the brethren to dwell together in unity. Unity. One. Your house needs to be an environment of unity. Putting together. You all have differences, of course. Me and my wife have so many differences. Different point of view. But we are united. Like a glue. You, you, get, you get crazy glue, you put it together, united. It is a time to be unified, to be united. Two should become one. Understanding each other's strengths and weaknesses and work together for good. Unite your family. Have a family reunion. Have a family meeting. Have a family praying together. Making a difference. Put a plan together with your family. How to counter attack the enemy that is trying to destroy your family. But today, you're going you're gonna to fight for your home. Write down yes. Comment below. Share this video with somebody that you know is going through some issues, some problems in their home. Are you receiving this word? Do you believe that God is going to do miracles, signs, and wonders in your life? I believe so. Is it easy? It's not easy. Can you do it? Yes. When he said that you are more than a conqueror, mean that you're going through some fights, some troubles, some problems, some obstacles, but you are more than a conqueror. For those of you that are watching this now, don't go away. Go over and see it again. This is powerful. But let me give you, let me give you a brief summary. What to do when your home is falling apart? Number one, your home is your asset and investment. Number two, your home has an invisible enemy. Number three, make your home a recovery center. Number four, learn to become a spiritual leader. And number five, Develop an environment of unity in your house, in your home. 
it's time to make a difference. All right? This is the time to make a difference, to fight for your house, to fight for your home, to make a difference. Thank you for watching this video. Comment below and share this video. If you have any questions, contact me right here. You want to do a Zoom with your team, with your leadership about this subject, let me know. I'm here to help you. Let's fight against the enemy that is taking over the houses and homes. Thank you for watching again. This is Raul Lugo. Comment below, sh share this video. Look for more videos like this on YouTube. All right. Thank you. And God bless you more. See you next time. Bye now.